If you are looking to apply to HSC, you have come to the right place. Today, I'm going to give you some tips on how to get into the Masters for Economics and Finance program. This is a very competitive course and it has an 18.9% success rate. The candidates that work with me, I help them get in at a 98% success rate. So my success rate is five times more than the average acceptance rate. And here are five tips on how you can maximize your chances of getting in. My tip number one is to push up your quant score. Now here, both economics and finance are technical courses. And so your grades do matter, but don't be disappointed if your GPA is not as high as you want it to be because there's many ways to compensate for it. If that is the case, you want to make sure your GMAT score is above average so that it can compensate for it a little bit. And so if you do take the GMAT and that's also not great, I would recommend you retaking it to push that grade up a little bit more. They're looking for people with statistics and calculus experience for this course. So if you haven't done that, it's okay. But make sure you take courses on the side on these subjects and more to beef up your quant profile. The main thing admissions people are worried about is that even though you are very bright and you have good grades in the past, you might not be able to keep up with the pace of the program because things move very fast. And so as much prep as you have done before, in the key subjects that matter, it tells them that they don't really need to worry about you so much. And that really helps improve your chances of getting in. So my tip number two is to show HSC how their program is intrinsic to your career goals. To do this, you need to be very clear on your short-term and long-term career goals. And if you have not come up with a detailed plan for this, then please do so before you start the application. A good way to gather more information is to speak to alumni from the program, speak to people in the industry, um, look up LinkedIn profiles of people who are doing the ideal job that you would like to do in the future, figure out what they have done in the past, see where they, uh, other people have gone onto with those uh, qualifications and try to put together a very specific plan for yourself. Mention the companies you want to work for, more detail the better. At the same time, look at detail to what the MEF program offers you. Look at the track you want to be, which certification would you take, what are the exact electives that are going to help you achieve your career goals, and be specific in how you would choose and what you would choose in the application form. All business schools track their alumni three months out and six months out to see how they have gotten on, what jobs they've gotten, what they're getting paid. This impacts their rankings. So candidates who come in having done the prep work are more likely to get a job at the end. And this is something that matters to universities. Don't give them a reason to worry about you. My third tip for you is to highlight how you share HSC's values. Are you a champion for diversity? What unique experiences do you bring to the table? How do you support sustainability? HSC talks about their five core values. Which of those do you embody and why? It is very important to highlight all of these in your application because in a sea of highly talented candidates, HSC is more likely to pick somebody who is aligned with their values. So make their job easier for them. So my fourth tip for you is to craft exceptional essays that tell a coherent story. I can't tell you how many application forms I've read from native English speakers who have exceptional grades, but when you read their essays, they are unlikely to get accepted at HSC. There is a science and an art to writing admissions essays. You have to think about each word very carefully. It should be adding something to your application, and even one wrong word can give admissions committee, yes, reasons to worry. So don't give them any reason to worry. You have done all the hard work to this stage to get the grades and get the GMAT and, and get your references. So don't skim on this important step. Give yourself a lot of time. It's not something you can do the night before and really take the time to make sure they're the best essays you have ever written. My fifth tip for you is to be prepared for technical questions in the interview. I find a lot of candidates spend time doing the typical questions and hoping they would not be a technical question. But if you are the kind of person who's hoping you won't get that question 
it's highly likely that it's going to come to you. I recently worked with an applicant for HSC who had a non-finance, non-economics background. And one of the questions that he was asked by one of the professors at HSC was to talk him through a DCF analysis. Now, lucky for him, we had prepared this question. And so he spent five minutes taking them through every step of the DCF analysis and the way that he had done it, which is a tricky thing to explain if you haven't thought about how you would explain it. And then they asked him to follow up questions. It was a very short interview after that. And very soon he received a place. Now this candidate might not have met the profile on paper, but I love these stories because it shows you if you're prepared to do the work, there's no reason why you shouldn't get in. So if you are willing to do the work and you want to maximize your chances of getting in by up to five times, then feel free to drop us a line using the information here. And either myself or somebody in the team will get back to you and I wish you the best of luck.